Hey guys, welcome back to Open Source Outlaw. Today we're taking a look at Plex for Android. Now, if you guys don't know, Plex for Android is a great um, media streaming service. Um, it's actually completely free if you use it on a home network or um, a local network. So if you have a small business, whatever, you want to use it there and you need your media files um, on your portable devices at all times, um, this is a great option. And for home, it's awesome not to have not to have to uh, plug your tablet into your PC or external hard drive every time to transfer files over it every time you want to watch a movie or a TV show. Um, you could just install Plex on your home PC and then install the app on your tablet or cell phone and you can stream all the content from your PC to your tablet. It works really, really well. I use it all the time. Um, again, you will have to set it up on your PC for this to work. Um, and it's free, so you just go to the Plex website, download the file, install it on your PC, add your media files. The setup process is super easy. You can create categories, like you can see here on the screen. I've got movies and TV shows. Um, it'll download all the pertinent information to that specific series or movie for you. It's really awesome that way. It'll download all the um, the cover art. Um, it'll download these uh, wallpapers that you can see switching on the Plex app right now. Um, it also will download all the descriptions for all the episodes, for the movies, the ratings for movies. Everything you can think of, it basically downloads everything. Um, all the information you would basically find on IMDb, but I don't think the information is coming from IMDb, it's coming from another source. Um, you can also um, customize the um, posters and backgrounds if they're not to your liking and you can do that on the PC software. You can't do it from the Android app. But let's get to the app. Um, here you they break it down into a couple different tabs. Um, you've got your recently added media. You have your on deck which is basically your recently watched media and then you've got your library and now this will depend on how many categories you've created on your PC. Um, I only have two get categories created. I only stream movies and TV shows. So if I go into movies, as you can see here, I've got all my movies right here. And if I click on a movie, so let's go to, say, Birdman. As you can see, it's got all the information right here. I've got the director, the writer, starring, audio. I've got a whole description of the movie right here. Everything's here. I've got all my information, which is really, really nice. Um, it's the same for series. If I jump into TV shows, and let's go to, um, say, Arrow. Now, usually, if you haven't customized the settings yet, when you click on a series and go into it, it'll actually play the theme song from that series. I have that disabled on my um, Plex for Android right now because it gets pretty annoying every time I click on a series. I have to listen to the theme song. So you can disable that. Um, but if I go to season one and go to the pilot episode, again, I get all the description, all the information pertinent to that episode and series, which is really nice. And I don't have to do any prompting to Plex to have to download that stuff. It automatically does it. Sometimes you'll run into trouble. And here, if you see the flash, let me just click on it right now. Um, this is the actually supposed to be the Flash 2004, uh, 2014 uh, series. But because I didn't add 2014 to the folder, um, the folder title, um, it just downloaded all the information from the 1990s series. So you just got to be careful sometimes around with those those things. Um, okay, let me exit the series here. You also have channels, which I haven't added any, but these are online channels um, like N NBC, CBS. Um, I think you can get Crackle on here and a few other services like Comedy Central and stuff. Some of those small clips that they, they upload online. Um, this is where you would access those kind of things. Again, that would have to be set up on your PC. Um, this is Chromecast capable. As you can see up in the top right hand corner, there is a Plex button. And I use it all the time with my Chromecast on my 60 inch TV. It streams uh, seamlessly in 1080p or 720p, whatever uh, it may be. You can also adjust uh, the stream settings or the megabytes per second um, to get a better quality picture. Um, and that's in the video settings up here at the top. You see quality over local network. Those settings are also, um, you can also set those on the PC software as well so if you go to your Windows computer or your Linux computer there's settings there to uh, 
change the setting up to like eight. Uh, I think it goes all the way up to 12 megabytes per second, maybe even more than that. I usually have it set to eight on my PC. But here you can change the, 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 the details here because I think you can also sync local media files that are already on your tablet with the Plex app. So if you wanted to stream, say, say I just downloaded Mad Men's um, episode one, I could add that to Plex on my tablet and then I could change these quality settings and then stream it to my Chromecast. So these are uh, really customizable stuff. The candy option here allows you to turn off that theme music I was talking about before. You can also disable the background art and the slideshow. Um, but again, really um, customizable stuff. Um, it's a great app. Definitely go check it out on the Play Store. Um, again, it's free. Um, and let's go ahead and check it out right now because I think there might be a paid version. I'm not exactly 100% sure on that. We can find that out right now really quick. Yep, so this is the only version and it's completely free. So go over, go over there, check it out, install it on your computer. Again, it's available on Linux and it's available on, on Windows. I don't know if it's available for Mac. Um, you'd have to find that out for yourself. Um, but and an awesome free option to get all of your movies and TV shows wherever you want them. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye.